In this video, I would like to share and psychology related what is the personality and personality categories and personality types. So what exactly the personality? The personality is the combination of characteristics or qualities that form an individual character. It refers to individual differences in characteristics pattern of thinking feeling and behaving. So what exactly the person, what are the different categories or what is the personality category? Uh, generally people can be characterized by the preference of general attitude, perception, decision and um, judging into four different personality categories. So they are like extraversion, introversion, sensing, intuition, thinking, feeling, judging, perceiving. So with respect to attitude, like how we focus our attention or uh, get the energy, we do have two categories like one is extraversion and uh, second is introversion. So what exactly the extraversion? Extravert people are energized by spending time with people and, uh, and busy active surroundings. They tend to be more expressive and outspoken. The extroverted types learn best by talking and interacting with others. By interacting with physical world, extrovert can process and make sense of new information. They like enjoy being the center of attraction. The energy of extrovert is outward and towards people and things. They need a lot of stimulation and often express emotions. They get that motivation from other people. Their attitude is often relaxed and confident. They are understandable and accessible. They tend to be act first and think later. So in case of introversion people, the introverts are energized by spending quiet time alone or with a small group. They tend to be more reserved and thoughtful. The introverted types are prefer quiet reflection and privacy. The information processing occur for introverts as they explore ideas and concepts internally. They like to be observed than to be center of attraction. The energy of introvert is inward toward concepts and ideas. They need little external stimulation and in fact they can easily be overstimulated. It is possible that they focus more on their inner world because they suffer from sensory overloaded if they spend too much time outside and focusing on other people. So, they thus bottle up their emotions which can explode if pushed too far. Their attitude is reserved and uh, questioning and they can seem subtly and uh, impenetrable. So they tend to think before they act. So in workplaces like at work they like to work alone and often uh, seek quiet for concentration. They tend to prefer work that has depth rather than breadth. So the main difference between extrovert and introverts like um, an extrovert flow is directed towards like people and objects. An introvert is uh, directed inward toward concept and ideas. Contrasting characteristics like between extrovert and introvert like um, the extrovert are more action oriented and introverts are thought oriented. So extroverts seek breadth of knowledge and influence, while introverts seek the depth of knowledge and influence. Extroverts often prefer more frequent interaction, while in case of um, introverts prefer more substantial interaction. So extroverts recharge and get their energy from spending time with people and outside, while introverts recharge and get their energy from spending time alone. They like to be alone. People who prefer extrovert draw energy from action. They tend to act, then reflect, 
then act further. If they are inactive, their motivation tend to be declined. To rebuild their energy, extroverts need a break from time spent in reflection. And controversially, those who prefer introversion expend energy through action. They, they prefer to reflect, then act, then act, then reflect again. To rebuild their energy, introverts need quiet time alone away from the activity. So the next category is uh, perceiving or gather the information. Under this, we have two categories. One is sensing and the second is intuition. So sensing and intuitions are like uh, information gathering, the perceiving functions. They describe how new information is understood and interpreted. Individuals who prefer the sensation functions are more likely to trust information that is present are tangible and concentrate that is like information that can be understood by five senses they tend to distrust hunches which seem to come out of nowhere uh, they prefer look like a detail and fact so for them the meaning is the data on the other hand those who prefer intuition function tend to trust information that is more abstract or theoretical. So that can be associated with other information. So in case of sensing, the sense sensing people like they focus on their work, their five senses and are interested in information they can directly see, hear, feel and so on. They tend to be more hands-on learners and are often described as practical. Sensing types often attend to what is occurring in the present and can move to the abstract of after they have established a concentrate experience. Sensors pay attention to both immediate data from their five senses and from their own direct experiences. They are creative meaning from conscious thought rather than trusting their subconscious, limiting their attention to facts and uh, solid data. As necessary, they will happily dig into the five details of the situations. They focus on what is immediate, practical and real and live life as it is rather than trying to change the world. They like logic and tend to pursue things in a clear sequence. At work, they will have a clear schedule and like to use their proven skills to tactical situations. So in case of intuition, so intuitions focus on more abstract level thinking. They are more interested in theories, patterns and explanation. They are often more concerned with future rather than present and are often described as a creative people. Intuitive types prefer learning atmosphere in which an emphasis is placed on meaning and association. Insight is valued higher than careful observation and the pattern recognition occurs naturally for intuitive types. Intuitives process the data more deeply than sensors and are happy to trust their subconscious and the sixth sense. It's a kind of gut feeling. Intuitives are whatever we want to call it. Okay? They are good at uh, spotting patterns and uh, taking high level view as opposed to digging into the detail. They like ideas and inspirations and uh, tend to have a focus on the future where uh, they will plan to change the world rather than continue to live in the imperfect present. In workplaces also they like to acquire new skills and working at the strategic level. So they may be seen as impractical, theoretical and lacking of for determination by sensor. So coming to the next category under uh, decision making we have two categories, one is thinking and feeling. So thinking and feeling uh, are the decision making functions. The thinking and feeling functions are both used to make the rational decisions based on the data received from their information gathering 
functions by using sensing or thinking. So those who prefer thinking function tend to be decide things from more detached standpoint, measuring the decisions by what uh, seems reasonable, logical, casual, consistent and matching a given set of rules. And those who prefer feeling function tend to come to the decision by associating and empathizing the with situations looking at from the inside and weighing the situations to achieve. On a balance, the greatest harmony, consciousness and fit considering the needs of people involved. So in case of thinking, like a category of thinking, the thinkers tend to make decisions with their heads. They are interested in finding the most logical and reasonable choice. Thinking types desire objectives, truth and logical principle and are natural at directive reasoning. Thinkers decide based on primarily on logic and when they do so, they consider a decisions to be made, like made. So they tend to see the world in a black and white and dislike fizziness. Perhaps the people are so variable they focus on tangent things seeking truth and use the clear rules in workplaces they are task oriented seek to create clear value interacting with te tense and to brief and business like they may be seen as a cold and hottest for fillers in case of feeling the feelers tend to make decisions with their hearts. They are interested in how the decisions will affect the people and whether in it fits in a with, a with their values. The feeling types place an emphasis on issues and causes that can be personalized while they consider other than motives. The based on our decisions on our personal values, how our actions affect others. Feelers decide based on primarily through the social consideration, listening to their heart and considering the feeling of others. They see life as a human ex existence and merit material things as being subservient to this. They value harmony and use the fact like tact in their interactions with others. So in workplaces, they are social, people oriented and make many decisions based on the values. The last category of uh, personality like um, so how they express or execute things to external world. Here we, it comes two categories, one is judging and perceiving. So in case of judging, the judges like uh, appreciate structure and order. They like things in very planned way and they don't like last minute changes. Judging types will thrive when the information is organized and structured and they will be motivated to complete assignment in order to gain a closure. Perceiving types will flourish in a flexible learning and enrollment in which they are stimulated by new and existing ideas. Judges approach life in a structured way, creating a plans and organizing their world to achieve their goals and desired results in a predictable way. They get their senses of control by taking charge of their environment and making choices early. They are self-disciplined and um, decisive and seek closure in decisions. So when they ask for things, they are specific and expect others to do as they say. They enjoy being experts. In case of perceiving, the perceivers appreciate flexibility and spontaneity and they like to leave things open as they can change their minds. Perceivers perceive the structure as being more limiting than enabling. They prefer to keep their choices open so they can cope with many problems that they know life will put in their way. 
So they get their chances of control by keeping their option open and making choice only when they are necessary. They are generally curious and like to expand their knowledge which they will freely acknowledge as being incomplete. They are tolerant of other people's differences and will adapt to fit into whatever the situation requires. So based on these like four categories, personality categories, we can divide 16 personality types. So that means we can classify people into different uh, personality types. Would you have like ISTJ, ISFJ, INFJ, INTJ, ISTP, ISFP, INFP, INTP, ESTP, ESFP, ENFP, ENTP, ESTJ, ESFJ, ENFJ, and ENTJ. So these are the 16 personality types. In further videos, I would explain each and everything in very detailed manner.